Today I'm going to be talking about how to spot the difference between a fake and a genuine UV filter and I come to this from a position of almost expertise because I have bought so many fake filters over the years. Now it can be pretty hard and online there's so many choices both Amazon and eBay are full of name brand UV filters often at really good prices but I can tell you from experience that on both of those platforms certainly a reasonable percentage of those are fake filters and I'll tell you my experience with the first fake filter that I bought it was actually on Amazon and it was at an unbelievably good price and I must admit I thought well I'm shopping through Amazon I know that means it's going to be genuine so I bought the filter I put it on the camera and I was getting really bad image quality and particularly big reflections, big sunspots. At one point I was in a low light situation and I was just getting this double vision and any lighting source that came anywhere near the lens was creating spots that were sort of floating around and ruining the image. After playing with this, this, this filter, taking this filter off and kind of looking at it in the sunlight, I could see that it wasn't multi-coated at all. In fact, it was it appeared to just be a completely plain piece of glass stuck in a filter housing. So it sort of made sense. It was like walking around with a household window on the front of my lens. And of course, that's going to ruin the quality of the image. And, and it did. So that brings me to the question, how do you identify a fake filter both before you order one? And if you order one and get one, how can you tell if that filter you've got is a genuine filter or not? Uh, now, the first thing I would suggest is when you're looking at the listing of the filters. Go in, find uh, whatever filter from whatever source at whatever price that you're sort of looking for. Uh, presumably you've done your research on filters and hopefully found one that you think performs the way that you want. Then go to the listing and have a detailed look, zoom in on the pictures of the filter itself. Then go to the manufacturer's website and zoom in on those pictures of the filter itself. And what we wanna look for is any little detail that is varied between the two filters. Is one filter ring glossy and the other one more of a flat? Is one filter ring have slightly different ridges at the top than the other? Does one filter ring have a sort of a decorative ring about it? Look at the text on the ring. Make sure it has all the same writing, all the same words, all in the right order. Does it say where it's made? Does it not say where it's made? What about the typeface? Does the typeface look exactly like the one from the manufacturer's site? So this is the first step in potentially identifying a fake filter. Now this doesn't mean that they haven't just taken the photos from the manufacturer's website and are putting it up online and then still going to sell you the fake. That's entirely possible. But I have found on a number of occasions that they have put up pictures of the filter they are selling and you can identify it is not the same as the listing on the manufacturer's website. So that is the first way to identify a fake filter. The other thing you might see in those listings is they may have some that look like the genuine filter, a couple photos of the packaging and the filter that look like it's been taken from the manufacturer's website, but then they will have subsequent photos which are clearly a different filter. They're clearly, the ring looks different, maybe there's a different finish on it, what have you. All those things I talked about checking out before. If you see a variation where it appears that some of the photos are not of the same filter that the other photos are, then there's a good chance that that is a fake filter. The other thing I like to see from genuine sellers is that they will say genuine in the description and that they offer a 100% money back guarantee. Now this doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get a genuine filter. In fact, I have bought a genuine filter, 100% money back guarantee from a supplier on eBay before. And when I got it, it was clearly a fake. There's no question in my mind it was a fake. It wasn't even a good fake. And I messaged the back and said, well, I want my 100% money back because this is clearly a fake. To which they responded, not that it was genuine, but that it was a multi-coated filter and gave me some technical details about it, which it may or may not have been, but it clearly wasn't produced by the manufacturer that was printed on the ring and that they were selling it as. And when I pushed back and said, I have one of these genuine filters and I know this is a fake filter, they immediately refunded my money. So they had sold thousands of these filters on the 100% money back guarantee genuine filter. And presumably for the small percentage of people that pick up that it's a fake, they were just refunding their money. The other thing that can be good is if you already have a filter that you have bought from a reputable retailer and you're confident that that is a genuine filter, if you do buy that same brand and type of filter online, maybe in a different size, 
When you get it home, you'll be able to exactly compare the two. Which leads me to my next point of how to identify a fake filter. So you've already gone online, you've identified what the manufacturer's uh, website photos look like, you've looked and you've bought the listing that had the photos that look exactly like that. Now you've got the filter in the mail. Does the filter you pulled out of the box look like the filters in the ad and look like the filter on the manufacturer's website? So that's point one. We want to make sure that looks exactly the same. If it doesn't, then there's a very good chance it's a fake. Now the next thing is a genuine filter is multi-coated. And because of that, much like a camera lens, any sort of good camera lens, if you look at it in the light and you sort of try to get the light reflecting off the element, what you'll see is there's a bit of a green or blue tint to the element. Usually it's sort of a greeny, yellowy color, sort of mostly green, but that is a product of the multi-coat coating on the lens. And a good name brand UV protective filter will have that same sort of coating. So to be able to identify if it's got the proper multi-coating, you just take a lamp, you can take a desk lamp, um, even just something like this, um, turn it on, Turn it like that, and let me just grab a filter here. So you grab your lamp, you'll turn it on, and then you grab your filter, and you'll try to get that light to reflect back in your face. So you are seeing a reflection of the light bulb. And when you do that, what you should see, if it is a proper genuine filter, is the reflection should have a slightly green tinge to it it should be a slight green tint. If the reflection is very highly reflective, like it's almost mirror-like, almost like you would see the reflection in your window. And if the color of the light is white, if the color of the light looks absolutely true to the color of the light bulb when you see it with your naked eye, then almost certainly that is a fake filter and it is not multi-coated. Now one of the challenges with this is the fake filters are actually getting better and better. And many of them are multi-coated and many of them are nearly as good as the original name brand manufacturer. And in fact, I have a number of filters here, protective filters that I use that I'm almost certain are fakes, but they're good fakes. So <laughs> it can be pretty tough, but if you get a cheap good fake, depending on what you're doing and what the demands on image quality are, it actually might be all right. The next thing to check for is when you get the product, have a look at the packaging and then have a look at the manufacturer's website or a good online credible seller of the same product and see if the packaging looks the same. The packaging should look identical. Look at the typeface, look at the letters, look at the coloring. Is it all exactly the same? The other thing is flip it over. Does it have a UPC code printed on the back? Is the UPC code the same size? Is it the same number of UPC code? These are all things that can help you identify whether you've got a fake or genuine product. The other thing about a good multi-coated UV filter is I know we've sort of got this idea that anything you put in front of the camera lens will actually degrade the image. And to an extent that's true. But interestingly, if you actually look through a filter with your naked eye, what you'll find is the multi-coating on the filter, a good multi-coating will actually make that image look sharper than it does to the naked eye. It's just the way it takes the light through it. I'm not sure how it works. It seems to be part of the way the multi-coating works. Uh, certainly in, in photography and video, it helps give you a cleaner, sharper, more contrasty image. And if you actually look through the filter with your naked eye, it will make the things you're seeing look slightly more contrasty and sharp. It's not a huge difference, but it's definitely noticeable. And if you're looking through that and you see that sort of sharper, more contrasty image, and, and once again, very, very, very slight, but you will notice a cleaner image, then there's a better chance that it's, a, it's either a good fake or it's the genuine product. If you look through it and you're getting reflections and it kind of feels more like you're looking through a pane of glass from a windowsill, then it's more likely that it's a fake. A couple other little things to have a look for. One is the way that the glass actually fits in the filter ring. They put it in and they have a sort of a little piece of metal that clips and holds it in place. If you sort of tap that glass and it feels like it's actually shifting around in there, then there's a good chance that it's a cheap, poorly made fake. If it doesn't move at all, it doesn't guarantee it's genuine, but if you do feel the glass moving around or if it does rattle, then it's almost 
a, certainly a fake or a very poorly made genuine. Either way, I would send that filter back. And just a last word on UV filters and the price of UV filters. First of all, what I say is a lot of people think the more you spend, the better filter you get. Actually, we know that that's not true. And if you do some research online, you'll find some of the cheaper filters actually do give some of the best image quality. And conversely, there are some filters out there that are very, very expensive that have been tested and have been proven to really degrade the image quality. So you can't just purely go on price or brand when you're buying a UV filter. And if you're wondering if you should use a UV filter at all, or if you should just avoid this whole mess of maybe buying fake filters online or expensive filters or, or what have you, and, and you don't know, should I even use a UV filter? Well, that's my next video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. I've got that video coming up. Once it's published, I'll link it in the description down below. So thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.